It doesn't matter if you buy a worn winch with a steel or synthetic rope, if it's for truck or power sports vehicle. One critical step that you need to take upon installation is stretching the winch rope to make sure it's evenly put on the drum. If you just simply wind it on there without the rope being under tension, you run the risk of the rope bunching up on top of itself. And when you go to pull, the rope can crush itself leading to potential rope damage. Use the following instructions to properly stretch the winch rope on the winch drum using proper tension. Choose a flat and level location that is large enough to run out almost the entire length of the winch rope. Disengage the clutch. Grasp hook strap and spool out the winch rope to the last five wraps on the drum. 10 wraps if using synthetic rope. Engage clutch. Then attach the hook end of the rope to a suitable anchor point. Return to your vehicle and back the vehicle away from the anchor point until there's very little slack in the winch rope. Set the parking brake. Place the vehicle in gear or park and turn the vehicle off. Exit the vehicle. While standing approximately eight feet away from the winch, power in the winch until all the slack is wound onto the winch drum. With gloves on, Hold tension on the winch rope with one hand. Carefully push the winch rope to the side of the drum the winch rope is attached to so there are no gaps between each coil on the drum. Be sure to check that the winch rope is winding off the bottom of the drum or the automatic load holding brake will not function properly. If you attempt to tension your winch rope alone, be sure to always set the parking brake. Place the transmission in gear or park and turn the vehicle off every time you exit the vehicle to inspect the winch rope. Start the vehicle and place the transmission in neutral. Then release the parking brake while applying moderate brake pedal pressure. Power in the winch rope to start winching in. After winching in for approximately six feet, stop winching. Slowly let up off the brake pedal and then apply the parking brake. This will ensure that there is no load on the winch rope. Place the transmission in park or in gear and turn the vehicle off. Exit the vehicle and make sure that the winch rope is being evenly wound onto the winch drum and not sinking into the lower layer. If the winch rope is sinking, power out the winch rope and repeat this step from the beginning with more brake pedal pressure. When you're convinced that the winch rope is winding onto the winch drum properly, repeat steps 11 through 13 until the vehicle is within six feet of the winch anchor. Then slowly let off the brake pedal and apply the parking brake. Then place the transmission in park or in gear and turn the vehicle off. Exit the vehicle, disconnect the hook from the anchor. While holding on to the supplied hook strap, hold tension on the winch rope and slowly power in the winch by pulsing the power in button on your remote control until the hook is within three feet of the fair lead. Stop winching in and attach the hook to a suitable anchor point on the vehicle. Once the hook is suitably attached to the vehicle, power in the remaining slack in the winch rope by pulsing the power in button on your remote control until there's a minimal slack in the winch rope. Now you're ready to pull and you can go prepared. For any other questions, email us at cs at warn.com or call 800-543-9276. Quality products you can depend on. That's the Warn Difference.